In August 1997, an air of patriotism wafted through the campus. The mural exhibits at the corridors recapitulated for the onlookers and India in her pre and post independence saga. 15th August was celebrated with added gaiety befitting the golden jubilee, jubilee of India's independence. The students essayed a kaleidoscope taking everyone on a journey through the checkered history of independent India. The provincial Reverend Father Tony de Souza gave a profound and stirring call to the entire gathering to be honest and lead upright lives. To commemorate the anniversary of the Quit India movement and to remember our freedom fighters, there was a rally by our NCC cadets from our campus to St. Joseph's Vadala. This August pageant was a month-long animation by the staff and students through myriad portrayals and a captivating presentation on Independence Day. The teaching learning process at Don Bosco's was never monotonous. Learning was never a drudgery. Education was spruced up with indoor and outdoor activities to make learning enjoyable. Let's then proceed to witness the year 1997 as it rolled by. In 1997, Mrs. Winifred Fernandez donned the mantle of the post of head teacher in the primary section. She went on to serve the institution 
in this capacity for 20 years till her retirement in 2016. Mrs. Winifred shares with us her memorable experiences at Don Bosco Matunga. Don Bosco and me. What can I say about the great bonding that we share? It all began in August 1958 when I was the first baby to be born in a building named Bosco Mansion in Badala. In 1977, the year that I completed my teacher's training, a chance meeting with the head teacher, Miss Winnie Thomas, had her inviting me to teach at Don Bosco School. Since I had received a call from Green Lawns confirming my post, I had to decline. Then in 1983, the year that I got married, I decided to work close to home, and so it was Don Bosco for me. But my principal at Green Lawns reminded me of my decision to discontinue teaching when I began a family of my own. So once again, I did not join Don Bosco. But Don Bosco did not stop trying, and he did get lucky. Then came the year when I wanted to admit my son into Don Bosco, and the principal, Father Adolfo Tardo, told me. I'll give your son admission, but you must come and teach in Don Bosco. And that was the beginning of my working with Don Bosco Primary School. Working at Don Bosco has been a pleasurable experience. It's had its moments of ups and downs, laughter and tears, but all in all, a joy. In 1977 I had the privilege of becoming the head teacher of the primary section of the school and then it was no looking back under the principalship of father edward de souza and together with my eager staff I was able to take don bosco primary section to be the best school in the f north ward in the very first year of my taking over This urged me to make playway a part of the primary curriculum. With it came the making of computerized worksheets, activity calendars, cultural days, celebrations of days and weeks, choral recitation, family bonding time at grandparents day and father and son day to name a few. I let my creativity flow and encouraged my staff to have limitless creativity. Today I can proudly say that my work speaks for me. Many thanks to the wonderful principals I have worked with during my formative years. Their guidance and support will always be treasured. I'll use an acronym here. A for Father Rodolfo Fortado, C for Father Carlos Gonzalez, my two years at St. Joseph's Vadala. E for Father Edward de Souza, S for Mrs. Sarah de Mello, my principal at Green Lawns. You were my aces. Thank you. My gratitude also goes to Father Crispino de Souza, Father Bosco de Mello, and Father Bernard Fernandez for helping me and supporting me along the path of headmistress. Thank you for being the wonderful people that you are. and thank you for helping me be the person that i am a big thank you to my staff students both past and present and the parents i've interacted with long live don bosco my little grandson is now a boscoite and i'm grateful to the almighty for this god bless always i love you all Thank you.